Here is an interesting question to solve a triangle using sine law or cosine law. Question is solve the given isosceles triangle. Now if an isosceles triangle is given to us and in this case we have 95 degrees given to us. Now the two sides should be of equal angle since sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 so there's only one possible isosceles triangle in this case right so these two angles should be equal we cannot have two angles of 95 degrees correct that would be more than 180 so so we have these two angles equal now if these two angles are equal then sides opposite to them will also be equal that means that side should be 10 so we know the side now what should be the angle well, sum of angles is 180, so 180 degrees should be equal to 95 degrees plus 2x. Correct? Sum of these three angles should be equal to 180. So from here we can solve for x, right? So we have 180 degrees minus 95 degrees equals to 2x and that is how much? That is 180 minus 95, 85 degrees. So we have 85 degrees equals to 2x and therefore x is equals to 85 degrees divided by 2. So let's divide this by 2. We get 42.5 and we get our angle which is x equals to 42.5 degrees. So both these angles are 42.5 degrees. So we can easily find the angle since we know it's an isosceles triangle, correct? Now we have to find the third side. Now let us say this side is y for us. How are you going to find this side? Will you use sine law or cosine law? That is a big question. Well at present you know all the angles, right? So you can use sine law also, correct? So that is one way. But if we would have found that first we could have used cosine law well in this case since we know these angles we can use sine law so let us use sine law to find this both the options are open though right so we can use either sine law or we can use cosine law we can use sine law now because we have already found one of the angles right the other two angles anyway so you do your calculations get the answers if you use cosine law then what is this y equals to so you know y squared so I'll do, do square root this time is equals to 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times cos of angle square root. So that gives us y, correct? So you can use calculator, find the answer. Or we can use sine law, which is y equals to y divided by given angle, which is 95 degrees, which is sine of 95 degrees, is equal to 10 divided by sine of 42.5 degrees. So from here we get y equals to sine of 95 degrees divided by sine of 42.5 degrees times 10. So both ways we can get the answer, right? But we'll get a better answer from the first option since we have a rounding done here, right? So let me do the first option for you. So which is square root. 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times cos of 95 degrees right so that is equal to 14.745 so I can write this answer as 14.75 units right and in this case what do we get so we'll again do the calculation, which is sine of 95 divided by sine of 
0.5 times 10 and that gives us 14.745 same answer 14.75 as rounded right so you get exactly the same answer using either formula right preferred formula will be sign law since it requires simpler calculations i hope that works thank you and all the best